Before you begin throwing, you want to prepare your clay. You've received a block of clay in your kit. You want to take out a half to a quarter of the block to throw with. A half brick looks about like this. When you get the clay out, you want to make sure you remove the air bubbles. It is air dry clay, so you will not need to fire the clay in a kiln to finish the piece off. But you will want to make sure that you remove the air bubbles so that it throws smoothly and makes your piece without any wobbling or less wobbling. To wedge your clay to remove the air bubbles, you want to take it and just imagine it's a piece of pizza dough. And you want to take both hands on your clay and just press down with the palm of your hand and move it forward. You want to roll it forward, pull it back, roll it forward, pull it back, roll it forward. The first time I learned to wedge clay, I was told that it kind of makes it look like a monkey's face. And you can kind of see that. So just wedge a few times. And then once you've wedged it, you'll see a spiral in the bottom, maybe. And just then form it gently into a ball. That will help remove those air bubbles and ensure an easier throwing experience. You also want to make sure that your wheel head is dry. You're going to use a little bit of water, but with air clay, the more water you use, the harder it is to throw with the clay or maneuver the clay. So a little bit of water goes a long way when you're throwing. This process of wedging and preparing the clay may take you one to two minutes. But once you get it into a shape that resembles a ball, you're ready to go. And again, make sure the bat head is dry so that the clay can adhere to the bat head.